Jason Stewart, um, I'm, is this a, is that your real name or is that I'm a stage totally name? made up. I'm not even here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it uh, is it wholly fake or is part of it real? No, my name used to be Brenda Vaccaro, but somebody else is using it. <laughs> <laughs> Sag wouldn't let him use it. I think Louie is just looking very attractive. You know, uh -huh. you are, and I'm just <laughs> I, I'm wondering why we're not on the road together. I think we should be. Mm -hmm. It should be the Family Man and the not. <laughs> I think it's fear. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm afraid of him? Uh, I think we would be a great team. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. Now, I have been told by another mm -hmm. comedian never to drive with you. Oh, I'm the worst driver that ever lived. Oh, so this is true then? Yes, oh, really? You, you even heard about that? I, no. I really am. I'm just a bad driver. And in Los Angeles, all the cops know me. Every time they see me, you know, it's, ah, Jason, get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, they stop crying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Assume the position. Because mm -hmm. there's some perks. <laughs> uh, mm. But now we have a thing called photo tickets. You've heard of the photo ticket, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. What happens yeah. is you drive through a red light, they snap a picture of you, and then they send it to you in the mail. So mm -hmm. I sent them a picture of some money. <laughs> <laughs> you at home, can you do this? No, you can't, because it takes hours and hours of time for a homosexual to sit in front of the mirror and do this because he's obsessed with Bewitched. I, I was on the clothes just a guest star with Kara Sedgwick. Oh. That was a lot of fun, and I actually played a heterosexual, I think, because I was told by Facebook. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're all so cute. And look at this with the red and the cherries yeah. and the, the baskets and the pillows and the <laughs> candles. I feel like I'm in the inside of a vagina. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here with Monique. Black yeah. woman, gay man, same thing, girlfriend. <laughs> I never wanted any kids. How can I have really? kids? Oh, God, please. I was doing the Rosie O'Donnell cruise, and, she, and I met her around, uh, I guess, around 15 years ago, and then I ran her to her at one of these award shows. She was getting an award for being a lesbian. And <laughs> Did they give awards for being a lesbian? Oh, did you see Madonna on, um, on, uh, on Oprah the other day? No. Oh, it was so great. And she was talking with an English accent, so she sounded like Tina Turner. And, <laughs> and she, people were so upset because she adopted a black baby from Africa. And I thought, that's so nice. And Oprah, of course, had to be nice to everybody. So she gave everybody a little black baby under the seat. <laughs> What's better? Goodbye sex or welcome home sex. Yeah. If you've been a good boy and you've abstained for the week while they've been gone, then obviously you've got welcome the release. Home. Wait, you've wait, got wait. The what, what's home. the deal with you and her? I have to know. <laughs> So you guys have a little out of town. I can do whatever I want. No, 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 no. I'm just. She's been going. I don't care. Ooh, I'm covering my ass. ass. That's what I'm doing. I'll cover your ass. Let me ask you this: Do you want to get married? I want to get married. Oh, I do. I want to get married. I want a husband. You do. So you're the faithful kind then. Oh God. I, you know, I don't want a boyfriend. I don't want a life partner. I don't want a sex buddy. You want a husband? <laughs> then again. Um, <laughs> It's the year 2004, straight people. If you let us marry each other, we'll stop marrying you. <laughs> that is it. And there's a cute guy just like you in the show that I get to talk oh. to. Oh. Wow. I think I might need to... Do I need to go? <laughs> Should I take a break? Honey, basically, you're in the way. I know. I think I am. It's true. Oh. I'm walking oh. for you. I'm walking so for I will climb to him. I'm walking for you. I will get to him. <laughs> I came out of one of the talk shows in June of 93, and I started to tour, and the first place I went was Kansas City, Missouri, and I did a club called, um, I think it was called Stanford's Comedy House, and this guy named Fred Phelps decided he wanted to pick at me. And for those of you who don't know who Fred is, he's this guy that has the GodsHatesFags.com website, and he goes to people's funerals who died of AIDS and pickets them. He's an awful person, and he's five minutes away from his own trial. And I had no idea how it would make me feel, having all these people in front of the club picketing me. And it really scared me because I was beat up a lot as a kid for being gay, and it brought back a lot of really uncomfortable memories. But across the street were these kids picketing the picketers, carrying signs with covers of videos and movies that I had done and they asked for autographs and were so, so sweet and so supportive. And it was just so touching. And then I walked into the club, got ready to do my show. And before I went on, I got a standing ovation. Before I said a word, I had no idea the power of coming out. I'm Jason Stewart and you're watching In the Light.